Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35524TE or the manufacturer's name uh, Zotec, their model number is ZT111. Um, comes in this nice little box, I've already taken it out of the box for you. It also includes the meter, a uh, little pouch to uh, keep your accessories in, uh, comes with the probes and a uh, temperature probe. Okay, I'm basically going to move through quickly the uh, the different settings and functions of it just to give you an idea of how it is, what it looks like and works. You can see it is a nice small size meter. Fits nicely in your palm. Uh, first I'll do is turn it on. First thing I like to do is that these test probes come with these nice little insulating so you just get the tip, but I for, for our, our video I'm going to need access to the full probes. Go ahead and plug them in here. Common. And voltage. Okay, in the first mode you, you will see there is four symbols here. You have a percent, uh, that's actually AC and DC, Hertz, and uh, voltage. Um, first thing is you need to see is the little blue button here. If you press and hold, that turns on the backlighting. Uh, if you just press it once, it allows you to go into the manual mode and you can manually set what range you want. But most people like the auto, auto, auto feature. Uh, first thing we bring up, it's in DC. Well, just very quickly, got that little 9 volt battery. Touch. As you can see, it's 9.6 volts. And this is this button over here is your select that it allows you to select the different features in each 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 uh, area or hold. Now I pressed it once and it's into the AC mode. Uh, I have a cord here plugged up to 110 AC. Just got to make good contact. There we see 125. Now let's turn that backlighting back on. Okay, then if you press and hold, you can see the little hold comes on. Press and hold, and it's, it's back to displaying the actual voltage. Next is Hertz. Now, if you'll notice, this has uh, uh, percent and Hertz uh, here and also here. This is the high voltage section. Uh, I got an email into the manufacturer to find out exactly what they mean by that. This is high voltage, this is low voltage. But uh, obviously at uh, Hertz, AC Hertz, 5.9.97. Fortunately I have no way to vary the Hertz and, and the AC. Uh, the percent, I have no way to, to vary the, the duty cycle under the high voltage area. So, but I'll, I will cover that under the, under the low voltage. I do have a way to test that. All right, the next selection is millivolts. First comes up with millivolts. Then you have AC millivolts. Then we get into the temperature. Now we have to switch over and get in the starts off in Celsius. So you warm the probe up just a little bit just so you get to see the temperature rise. One degree Celsius resolution. Press the uh, select button again. Now we're in Fahrenheit. And warm it up, see 92 degrees, 93, 94 degrees, and that is that section. Okay, let's move to the next one. And we are starting out in resistance. Put my uh, probes back up, and let's see, uh, here's a nice high one. I got a resistor, it's one mega ohm. It 
Oops. Okay. 1.02 mega ohms. As you see, the display the little mega ohms at the top. And you get something at the bottom end, bottom end of the, the scale. We have a 22 ohm. Okay, then we press our select button once more and we are into audible continuity. Decent buzzer. I've heard some that are, that are very weak and hard to hear. Uh, we press it again and we are into our diode tester. Oops. And yeah, just over half a volt for a silicone diode. Press it again. And we're into our capacitance. And I have a nice little thousand microfarad capacitor here. Get the polarity right. Oops, come here to you. And it's auto ranging 975 microfarads, pretty close. Yeah, these are within 10%. Okay, that is all of that, that section. Next is the low voltage, duty cycle, and frequency. For that, uh, use a little cross promotion. This is our little uh, frequency and duty cycle. Uh, Run it all the way up. All right, this is 160 kilohertz. Okay, it's 158.2. Now, an interesting thing I, I found out, uh, when we work on the duty cycle, you hit the button one more time, and it switches over to percent. At the high frequency, it doesn't seem to be as accurate as I would like. You see it says a 67.7% duty cycle, and, and the display is seven, saying 71. But if you lower the frequency down to just below 25, kilohertz. Okay, so just to show you frequency. Yeah, see 24.44, 24.5. Switch back over to duty cycle. And 71 versus 70.5. And just to lower the duty cycle just to show it to you. Yeah, 27.6 versus 28. Okay, that is this section. The next one, uh, amps and milliamps, you would have to move the test probe over. Uh, didn't really make a load for you. Only thing I would like to say is at 10 amps, some people have had a problem with trying to use this as a meter to monitor something for long periods of time. If you try to run 10 amps continuously for a, a, a while through these, these test leads, they will probably get very hot on you. I uh, would not recommend that. Uh, back over to microamps, AC and DC. There again, really don't have a load for you. But just it does have that feature. Uh, the last one, NCV, which is a near field AC sniffer. Uh, this is our, our AC cord. It, it's able to, to sense that there is AC there. It's a nice little safety feature. It seems to be at the tip. Uh, okay, that is all the basic functions of the meter. Uh, hopefully this will answer some of your questions and uh, make you more comfortable with the product. Thank you for watching our video.